Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you all are doing well. This is Mohammed Badrudja back again with another lab, lab number 10 from XSS Vulnerabilities module. So before going further, this little disclaimer as always for you. This video and its content are only for educational and awareness purpose and I do not support any unethical or illegal act. That's been said, today the lab is very interesting and the lab is all about DOM based cross-site scripting. So as we know, there are two most important part of DOM based XSS. The first one is source from where you get the input. And the second one is sync where the input is executed. So this is just a high level overview about source and sync. Uh, so uh, in this lab, document.write is used as a sync which uses the source location dot search inside a select element. So the lab is like uh, this lab contains a DOM based cross site scripting vulnerability in the stock checker functionality. Uh, it uses the JavaScript and the in the JavaScript there is a function named as document dot write which writes data out to the page the document dot write function is called with data from location dot search this one will be act as a source so which you can control using the website url the data is enclosed within a select element so to solve the lab perform a cross-site scripting attack that breaks out of the select element and calls the alert function so without wasting time, let's go and we are going to access the lab here. Okay, so here we have the lab. Now let's just, uh, we already we already have the bub suite here. I'm going to just go to the foxy proxy and enable the traffic through bub suite. Fine. So just going to refresh one more time and check uh, if we are getting all the requests. Yes, going through with bub proxy. Now what I'm going to do here is there are too many uh, products. So in the lab, it's already mentioned stock checker functionality, stock checker functionality. So uh, we need to go inside this product. And after that, we will check the availability of this product uh, in the particular store. So as you can see here, these are the stores. Uh, in the drop down list, we have London, Paris and Milan. So let's select Paris and check the stock, how many items or how many number of products are there in this particular stock. So 857 units are there. Okay, back to the verb suite. And this is the request, I think. Yeah, this is the request. This is post request. Fine. This is the first thing I... Uh, pointed out that this request is not the get request this is actually the post request and if you go down here in data section you will find here there are two parameters okay one is product id and the second one is store id so store id is paris and the product id is one fine so let's see i'm going to just uh, inspect and i want to see if there is any script there so click here, click here. Uh, okay, these are the drop down list. Yeah, here above that drop down list, there is a script. So this is the script. What this script is doing. Let's see that. So as you can see within this script, the, the first variable is stores and within this variable, there is an array. Okay, this is an array. Uh, we have three values. That means three stores are there. Uh, so the ID for the first one is going to be zero. The second one is one and the third one is two. Fine. Uh, the second variable here is a store. And within this store variable, it is actually uh, using the function location dot search to get the store ID. So this is store ID, remember where we found here in this request, you can see store ID. So whatever value you are going to put here in the store ID, it is actually going to take it here. Okay. So that means whatever store ID you choose, it is going to be the value of a store. And then after that, uh, it is going to take this store ID 
within the document dot write sync and use this HTML uh, select tag. So if we scroll down, you can see the same thing here. Select name is equal to store ID, what we found here. And then if there is value within the store variable, if there is a value, so it is going to again sync within the sync document dot write, it is going to say, okay, within the option, uh, options like these, okay, these are the options. So it's saying, uh, take these options and put the store, fine. Then it is uh, executing one for loop and within the for loop there is a variable i its value start with the zero and then it is going to increment uh, one by one so the first value will be zero second will be one two like this okay so if store i that means this value exist till then it will be uh, continue okay so this is the whole thing but the most important part here is this one this variable okay where it's using function which is location dot search and this location dot search get the value of a store id this is the same parameter what we found here that means that means we need to test few things uh, what if i'm going to send this request to the repeater and go to the repeater let's see change this value to something else let's say um cyber sec uh, radar and just send this so as you can see uh, there is no chances that there is a store named as cybersec radar but still we get these values number of unit of that product um, that means there is something off fine whatever value you put here it is going to be executed and uh, let's say uh, change this value to india and send it again 383 products are there send one more time 383 products are there so let's see uh, there is product id is equal to one right uh, and this is the uh, post request what i'm going to do here is let's see store oh come on man store id is equal to india send this okay scroll down and as you can see here now india appears here although uh, by default india was not in that list there were only london paris milan but if i add this parameter it is going to put here india also okay now i'm going to just see the script this time so script is same fine there is no change but if you see this uh, select section within that select section you will find here in the option there is india okay so that means whatever uh, you can input within this store id parameter it is going to be rendered here and that means that means you can control this you can control this this is the most important part that you can control this and if you can control this that means you can put any value so um, in my mind what i can do uh, this is within the select uh, select tag right so i'm going to close this select tag and put some uh, xss payload so instead of this india what i'm going to do here is uh, let's say close select um, image source is equal to x and on error if because this source does not exist this source does not exist so it is going to call the error and within error i am going to call this function alert okay uh, cybersec radar fine that's it just hit enter and yes we get the alert 
So as you can see, cybersecurity radar alert is there and make it okay. And congratulations, we solved the lab, but most important part here. So even if we do not put this double quote, okay, no need for that because we just need to close the select tag. Okay, so as you can see, uh, because we escape the select tag. So I want to come here. Okay, so here you can see, this is the select tag. Okay, and we close this select tag, because this value, this store ID value, we control and whatever a store ID value we put in this parameter, it is going to be rendered here before. But because we closed that select statement, now the select statement is closed. So the next line is going to be executed is this image source is equal to X on error alert function will be called fine. So I hope uh, you understand that if you have any uh, query or any question you can ask me in the comment section I will try to respond to you as soon as possible so I think that's it for this video and I'm going to see you in the next video bye